learning how to identify trusted sources of information, a skill that's critical to preserving our democracy. For our fourth annual News Literacy Week, I took my two cameras down here to Greenwood Christian Academy, where I met with their high school media students, and I showed them how we gathered the news here at WRTV, and we looked at the flood of misinformation that surrounds us 24-7. Google Parents. Mr. Mobley's media class put their heads together. Where else? Where do you get information? How do you know what's going on? Coming up with ideas. Your phone. About where we get information in today's world. Articles. Okay, Instagram. The Greenwood Christian Academy High School students compiled this list. Church. The good news. Teachers, yeah. And we stepped back to take a look. Then I had them cross off anything that wasn't around 50 years ago. If any of these were not around then, we're going to cross them off. What about Safari and Google? No. Yeah, we'll take those off. To show visually, the way we gather news and information is constantly changing. So what will they face in the media 20 years from now? They're distracted, so people aren't necessarily watching TV like 100%. Throughout the class discussion I led, we talked about how local media works as I was gathering information from them. They're multitasking, they're looking at their phones while the TV's on. So everything that we say, for the most part, we want to also see. I wanted to find out how students today, you'll just look at me, Okay. are preparing to become the trusted journalists of tomorrow. First thing I always ask people for an interview is, can you spell your first and last name? Uh, my name is Chris Mobley, uh, K-R-I-S-M-O-B-L-E-Y. First up, their teacher. Um, I teach English language arts and humanities, uh, along with student media here at Greenwood Christian Academy. Who says a major focus in their class is ethics. The, the technology is always going to be changing. So he said teaching them those fundamentals, giving them that 101 introduction is a positive So that because those things are not going to change. It's just really helpful to learn what it's all about. And one of his freshmen. Uh, my name is Gavin Rothrock. Says he's taking the elective class to try something new, maybe open some doors to a potential career path or just learn life lessons. Information comes at us 24 seven and is often right at the palm of our hands. Misinformation is definitely something that spreads fast, especially if fed to like a large crowd of people. Can you spell your first and last name for me? Yes, my name is Brayley Dickens, B-R-A-Y-L-I-E-D-I-C-K-E-N-S. For this sophomore, the media class is a first step towards a passion. I want to go into like film, directing, all that stuff. And sees the importance of the ethics lessons she's learned in class. So much mis misinformation on the internet. Having a credible source is important. So whether you're the one gathering the news. Okay or consuming it, these students are arming themselves with the knowledge they need, stepping into a world of endless possibilities as to how we get information. Bringing that critical lens to news as you're consuming it is important, so you're kind of knowing how to separate what's, uh, what's fluff from fact. I want to give a special thanks to Mr. Mobley and Greenwood Christian Academy for inviting me to that class. If you want to learn more information about the News Literacy Project, just visit our website, WRTV.com. And you can find out much more about the project right now. Again, it's at WRTV.com slash News Literacy. We'll continue our News Literacy coverage all week long right here on Good Morning Indiana.